Hello, insiders. Today we're going to talk about a more serious topic, uh, and we call that the creator responsibility policy and what that means and how you should think about it as a creator. Uh, I want to just call out in beforehand that um, before we get into the details that this is not a new policy. This is an existing policy. Uh, our goal is really to make sure the creators understand our policies. We've spent a lot of time on monetization, community guidelines, etc. I think everybody on this channel has had a chance to comment on them and look at the updates, etc. Um, this is a different kind of policy. This is one where we hope and actually do rarely use it. Uh, but this is in cases where the actions that a creator takes off platform or on the platform bring significant harm to the whole ecosystem, including um, the reputation of the creator community, um, with advertisers, with uh, you know the media industry overall, uh, and most importantly, really with viewers and and um, how viewers think about YouTube and about creators. So, for a little bit of background, uh, back in 2018, we introduced this policy, and we'll have a link in the description so that uh, you can look at it. And again, it's for rare events when creators' actions harm the entire community and are pretty egregious. This is not something that um, yeah, the normal community. Uh, guidelines or the advertiser-friendly guidelines um, can cover sufficiently. What we're talking about here is especially egregious behavior um, that could really harm the entire uh, YouTube ecosystem. At the end of the day, we don't want one creator's actions to impact the ability to um, earn revenue and be successful for all creators. So I wanted to cover a few examples of the kind of things that we've seen in the past and where we've taken action, um, not always publicly, sometimes publicly. Uh, and just to think about as a creator that really you, you want to make sure that you're uh, in the quest for um, growing your channel and for views, etc. Um, you don't really trip over into the territory where you're harming uh, all creators and, and, and kind of the platform overall. So here are some examples. So one was if you intended to cause uh, malicious harm to others, so serious harm. Another example is uh, participating in abuse or violence or being uh, extraordinarily cruel uh, or participating in fraudulent or deceptive behavior leading to real world harm. An area that sometimes comes up is pranks. And we all know that sometimes pranks uh, can go a little too far, and, but we're talking about pranks that go significantly too far. And in the quest of uh, getting the, a really viral prank, um, there's always a risk that uh, the overall uh, ecosystem suffers, and so we want to avoid that. The next example is content that promotes violence or hate towards a, uh, a group. Uh, again, violence or, or resulting real-world harm is something that uh, we obviously have to take action on. So again, as I mentioned, these are rare uh, occurrences, and, and as we think about this policy, we really hope that it rarely gets applied. Um, and there's, of course, a, a process within YouTube to evaluate the, the um, uh, actions that we're taking, including talking to the creator. And uh, so this is a, not something that's designed to happen often. Okay, so let's talk about the kind of actions that we've taken in the past and can take in the future. Hopefully not, but uh, you never know. Uh, so the first thing we could do is if the creator has a YouTube original that could be uh, put on hold or canceled, some creators have access to YouTube spaces to film and to meet other creators, and that can be restricted. Another area that uh, I'm sure some of you have heard about is restrictions on monetization. So um, in some cases, there could be a 30-day suspension. Um, it could last longer than 30 days. And that really restricts the ability of the creator to uh, earn revenue from ads, from uh, other sources of revenue that, as we develop them. And it can be removed from uh, YouTube select lineups as well as another monetization penalty. Uh, the last area that we um, sometimes uh, use in reaction to these kind of uh, actions of, uh, by creators is uh, video recommendations. So maybe a creator's channel is no longer eligible to be recommended on YouTube and uh, not on the home page or trending tab or watch next recommendations. So obviously these are uh, pretty severe um, consequences and as I mentioned, we really don't want to use them. Um, so we're hoping that creators uh, exercise um, judgment. And, and we understand that obviously there, you need to grow your channel and be creative and try new things to try things that other people haven't done and, and get your videos to go viral. Um, but there's some common sense that can be used uh, to not cross the line and, and really the litmus test is impacting all other creators 
by the actions that uh, an individual creator takes. And that's, that's what we're focused on and, and want to make sure we avoid. And so that's one of the reasons why we're creating this video, for example, so that there's more awareness um, of that um, situation. So um, moving forward, we really hope that we'll continue to be able to educate creators on, on kind of the responsibility. YouTube gives you a voice and uh, hopefully you use that voice uh, in good ways and not, uh, and not in a way that can harm uh, the rest of the community of uh, both creators and viewers as well as advertisers. As always, we're always interested in the Creator Insider Nation's opinions and thoughts. Uh, I'm sure you can think of a few cases where we've used this policy in the past, where creators have had uh, have been demonetized, demonetized or in other ways uh, impacted by it. Uh, and so if you have questions or thoughts or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. We'll, we'll do our best to respond to some of them and certainly uh, read them in see if there's uh, some tweaks that we need to do. One more area you can give us feedback on is if uh, you want to get more um, notice and that we should uh, cover more uh, uh, about specific cases and um, actions that we've taken, which we do today to some degree, but we don't always do it. And so if that's important to really hear about these cases, uh, let us know in the comments as well. And other than that, uh, keep it real.